Okay, so we are now headed east on Highway 500 across Labrador. I had been thinking all the time Quebec uh, 389 was going to be uh, the real bit of wilderness that we uh, touched, but that was really not correct. It's uh, 500 is actually the more wild road. We are really going to be losing um, civilization, internet, cell phone. So we'll see whether or not they even have some internet in any hotels that we're staying at or if they have any cell phone service in those towns. We don't know. First of all, we're going to stop uh, just to the east of Labrador City here to see what the story is about the Iridium uh, satellite phones that they will let you use. I have to find out the details and see if that program is still working. And that's how isolated things are. It has to have satellite phones in order to contact the authorities if there's any kind of problem. Now I've got to find the Wabush Hotel. Quebec 389 is a road feared because of its primitive nature. Labrador 500 is feared because of its remote nature. If you run into a problem, you're a long way from help. So anyway, I stopped at the Wabush Hotel, a little difficult to identify it, but a um, very old historic looking building, old creaky floors and everything, you know, quite evocative. So anyway, found the lady there, asked her about the satellite phone. They don't have any at the moment at this location. There are 80 of these things running around, funded by the Newfoundland government, Newfoundland Labrador government. And uh, so anyway, they don't have any at the moment, uh, but if they did, they would have let us borrow one for 24 hours and we drop it off at the next place along our route and pick up another one. And that's how it works, so that uh, you only need a particular phone for 24 hours and you're constantly getting a new one. It would have been nice to have them. We'll try it again to see if there's a place in uh, Churchill Falls that, that does that. It would be handy to have. Definitely. Labrador Highway, Happy Valley Goose Bay. There's a lot of good pictures along the way. Funny because there, that road we just took there, the turn we made, looks like you're entering a ramp for an expressway. <laughs> and no, that's not a ramp or an expressway, that is the road. is smooth and in good condition, no problem at all.
Around noon, we stop for lunch near the shore of one of the many thousands of nameless lakes here. Moving on again, we find today's hiking trail, Bodoin Canyon. This uh, canyon is mentioned in the All Trails app that I'm using now. So uh, we're going to check this out, although I think it's going to be a little bit too windy today for the drone. No doubt about it, that's pretty spectacular. The river valley is a jumble of dry boulders. We wonder why.
Mid-afternoon, we arrive at our destination, the town of Churchill Falls. This doesn't look like a hotel, and so we are a bit confused. But it is a hotel, plus a restaurant, grocery store, post office, library, swimming pool, gymnasium, curling rink, and school. This is our first true company town. The Donald Gordon Center and the surrounding residences are Churchill Falls. The hotel doesn't admit dogs. I inform the manager we are not fans of this policy. But the night will be warmer and Tara should make up fine in the car once again.